Choosing the career is one of the most important and difficult decisions we take in our life. So, at every point of time, we we surely Google this question that which is the best career option for us. I know there are some kids who know what they have to do in their life. who are always excited to pursue some or the other career but there is a second category which searches for job security job satisfaction salary career growth opportunities etc and on this basis that they decide that which career option they have to choose so try googling this question that which is the best career option and i'm sure you will get software engineering at the top be it artificial intelligence machine learning data scientist cyber security etc All of these come in the category of software engineering only. Hello friends, my name is Shivangi Tiwari and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so so much for liking my videos, especially my video on impact of recession in Indian IT that has crossed 35k views. So thank you so much for that. Also, if you are new to my channel, then I create videos related to career, inspiration and lifestyle. And if that's what you're searching for, then you've landed at the right place. do check out my channel subscribe it like my videos share it to your friends and family and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified any time i post my new videos so in this video we'll be discussing some really interesting questions like who is a software engineer how to be a software engineer what are the skills needed to be a software engineer what is the growth and career progression of a software engineer how is the work life balance of a software engineer what is the range of pay scale that these software engineers get what specialities and domains of software engineering are in the trend in current scenario last but not the least that where the software engineering industry will go in the coming next years so technically someone who designs and creates computer systems and applications to solve real world problems is a software engineer or we can also say that someone who applies the knowledge of programming to develop design compute calculate and test and maintain and evaluate the computer software is a software engineer so this is the definition of a software engineer but it exactly says who the software engineer is now how to be a software engineer or how to choose any career so there are always two methods be it a traditional method or a non traditional method so similarly for software engineering also we have two methods either you can go and follow the traditional short sure short methods or you can choose an unconventional or a non traditional method to be a software engineer but be sure that both of these methods are driven by passion you should be passionate enough to follow what you actually want now when you know your destination it becomes quite easy to choose and select a path that which path will lead you to your destination So now talking about the traditional method in the traditional method you have to take up maths in your 12th standard then you can do btech or engineering we call in any specialization preferably computer science and information technology or any domain is fine and then you can end up getting a job as a software engineer you can further upgrade your degree as mtech and then upgrade your job secondly you have to take up maths in your 12th standard do bsc from it and then mca and then you can land up getting a software engineering job last you can do um, bca mca with maths in your 12th standard so these are some traditional methods of being a software engineer and they are sure shot you can just close your eyes and lead to that path and you will be able to land up to getting a good job as a software engineer so now coming to the second method which is the unconventional or the non traditional methods this is my favorite So a few days back I was reading an article about a lady she was pursuing her biomedical engineering but in between her course she realized that computer science is something which fascinates her more so it wasn't very easy for her to completely switch her course but what she decided was to do a minor degree from computer science so that's what she did and at the end she end up getting a good job it wasn't that easy though but she took up some courses and skill sets like object oriented programming in any language Uh, operating systems discrete mathematics algebra and algorithm so it doesn't really matter if you have an educational degree in engineering or not but what matters is you should have an educational background of computer science you should have that growth oriented mindset some or the other engineering skills that will keep you in the industry as your trend now coming to the next thing is your initial computer science degree can help you get a job land into a job be a software engineer 
operating systems knowledge is another important factor which matters in considering the skills of an software engineer now there are a bunch of more hard skills and soft skills which you should know and learn to be a software engineer so in this video we covered only the hard skills i've created another similar videos like this so you can check them out in the description or on the i button above after watching this video now quickly jumping into the career growth and career progression which you can get if you have opt to be a software engineer so there are a couple of titles which you can get be it front end developer back end developer full stack developer devops engineer data engineer artificial intelligence engineer machine learning engineer gaming engineer graphics engineer embedded software engineer network engineer etc so these are a multiple titles which you can get if you opt for software engineering domain now once you get recruited you will be given the title of a software engineer 1 you are then promoted to software engineer 2 then to senior software engineer then to tech lead then team manager for the which you will be promoted to a technical architect and then at the end you become the cto of a company so as we have ceos in management domain we have cto in the technical domain so you can clarify it very properly with the chart which you will be seeing on the screen now jumping into the work life balance of a software engineer so in general the timings for software engineers are flexible unless and until you get some urgency of work or you have to give some deliverables you are literally chill and working at the comfort of your home at the time you want also we get more vacations as compared to the bankers or doctors etc we also get weekends off so unless and until your company policies are in such a way that you are it is hectic for you or actually depends from company to company that how will your work life balance be but in general software engineers have a very good work life balance how can we forget the example of covid so covid times affected literally all sort of industries and all all sort of professionals but software engineers were the ones sitting and chilling at the comfort of their home doing their work doing their job and getting paid similarly as they were getting paid before covid so not even covid impacted their jobs so yeah work life balance is pretty good for software engineers now coming to the pay scale and the pay range so on an average software engineer in india gets 6 to 7 lakhs per annum but yeah it totally depends from location to location let's say you are in delhi or gurgaon you'll be paid differently let's say you go to pune your pay scale will be different now coming to hyderabad or bangalore which is the tech hub of india your pay scale drastically increases but as a fresher you can expect 3 to 40 lpa of package in india as a software engineer career prospects are definitely high as a software engineer top specializations and domains which you can think of and learn in today's time are business intelligence developer data architect app architect data scientist cloud computing blockchain technology artificial intelligence and machine learning every specialization has its own specialty and demand in this industry so you can choose and select the one which best interests you now talking about the future of software engineering So according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics or the BLS the number of job opportunities in software domain will drastically increase 22%. It has increased 22% from 2020 to 2030. Contrarily the average growth for all professionals is just 8%. The push for innovation in the technology sector is unlike any other which is a very very big reason why software engineers are so much in demand. We all know that the modern world runs on software and will continue that the it industry has created 4 million direct and 12 million indirect jobs in india till now over the years this number can jump to 80 million or more so undoubtedly the future in software industry is bright with enormous opportunities and great growth but what is more important is your interest before you jump and decide any career evaluate and research that the work excites you not because i am saying or someone else is saying choose a career which you are interested in choose a career which excites you choose a career which you really want to do and once you decide and choose where there is a will there is a way you will always get a way through to reach to your destination also if you want to know my journey to be a software engineer if i was i was not actually from a computer based background so my journey totally says that even if you're not from a computer based background if you're not from a very great college then also you can be a very good software engineer you can check out my video in the description or on the i button above also guys please pay attention i want to give a shout out to iman pandey i don't know him so he commented in one of my videos 
सो थैंक यू सो मच ईमान फॉर स्प्रेडिंग आउट पॉजिटिविटी एंड फॉर ब्रिंगिंग इन द ट्रू स्पिरिट ऑफ एन इंजीनियर थैंक यू सो मच आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू गिव अ शाउट आउट टू हिम सो या दैट सेट आई होप यू लाइक टू डेज वीडियो गाइज इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो शेयर इट टू ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली ऑल्सो टू द वंस हु आर परसुइंग ट्राइंग टू परस्यू द करियर एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर स्प्रेड अवेयरनेस एंड स्प्रेड पॉजिटिविटी इफ यू लाइक इट डू गिव इट अ थम्स अप subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified any time i post my new video thank you so much and thanks for supporting me